welcome to Hospital Rounds. I'm Kyle Schwartz, and my guest today is Dr. Deb Lair, and we're going to be talking about Plain Tree. Welcome to the program. Thank you so much for having me. I know you're involved in a lot of things in the community as well, and we're very happy to have you here today. Um, I think we should start with maybe a little bit about the history of Plain Tree and how it got started. Yes, Plain Tree is a philosophy of patient-centered care, and it was started back in the 1970s. There was a young woman, um, her last name was Thero, Angela Thero, and she was out in a hospital in California. And she had a very serious medical condition and did not have a lot of family support. And during her hospital stay, she did not have emotional support from the staff. Um, she felt very isolated. She felt very alone. She felt very afraid. And after she survived her hospital um, stay, she felt that there just had to be a different way to provide health care. There had to be a better way to provide health care. And so the mission pretty much for the rest of her life centered around forming a nonprofit organization that we now know as Plain Tree. And her life's mission came to be um, known throughout the the country and five other countries around the world um, as the Plain Tree Organization, which focuses on patient-centered care, focusing mind, body, and spirit so that patients do not suffer from the same type of situation that she experienced back in the 70s. Okay, interesting history. I mean, I think we've all heard the term Plain Tree and we've seen the signs, and we, you know, but I think it's going to help today to explain what all the components are and and uh, now you've explained the history. So um, why are you involved specifically? What's your role? Well, about 12 years ago, our hospital um, had a lot of interest in becoming a Plain Tree facility. And so uh, a physician champion was uh, needed, and um, I was asked to, to fill that, that role. And so for the past 12 years, I have uh, been very involved in helping the hospital along our journey. Uh, we are an affiliate hospital, and there are 500 nationwide. Um, at one point, there were seven um, Ohio hospitals. I'm not sure how many there are today, but there were seven affiliate hospitals in Ohio. Which um, seems actually like a small number. Very small, very small uh, number of hospitals that uh, go down this path. Um, but I have been uh, the physician liaison for um, our facility uh, for the last 12 years, and uh, my passion is to help to provide uh, that patient-centered care, to help provide education uh, for pretty much everyone that comes in um, to work at our facility. Um, I think that the, the people that we have involved in our facility um, don't come to work to punch a clock. Um, I think the people that we have working um, with us and for us, um, their heart is involved in their job, and we are privileged to take care of our patients. And I think that is a big center of the Plain Tree philosophy, of keeping that patient always at the very center of everything that we do. And it is truly a privilege to be able to provide patient care. And I think as long as we speak to that and our heart and mind speaks to that, we are continuing our journey uh, on the Plain Tree path. Well, you mentioned um, the uh, it's something that you work with the employees at the hospital, and I don't think you're just talking specifically with the medical staff. Aren't you talking about all the employees that are involved? That is correct. Um, every employee in our facility um, is uh, educated. Uh, there are uh, workshops and retreats that are given to each and every employee that comes into the hospital. So whether um, a person hires in to work in dietary, uh, whether you are a volunteer, uh, whether you are on the nursing staff, uh, work in radiology, a phlebotomy, everyone, everyone, all the new uh, physicians, um, everyone is uh, involved in learning um, what it means to be a plain tree facility and how they can help because each and every person um, that's involved in providing patient care um, is critical, is a critical part of the organization. And there's an old saying that says you're only as strong as your weakest link, mm -hmm. and that and it's really true. It is really true. And and we, we take that to heart, and we try to make sure that each and every action that's done for our patient um, is done with, with Plain Tree at the center of what we do. All right. And you mentioned to me earlier that there are 10 beliefs yes. in the yes. Plain Tree philosophy. So why don't we talk about Yeah, we'll those. talk about those beliefs. Um, and some of them are pretty basic, but... It, it speaks to, to getting back to the basics. Um, in Plain Tree, we believe that, first of all, we're all human beings caring for other human beings. So 
first of all, get rid of the hierarchy. We're just all people. Um, we are all caregivers, and that speaks to each and every one of us um, learning how to help provide care. Um, and it doesn't always mean high-tech provision of care. Sometimes just holding a person's hand as they're going through or taking a moment to listen or helping at the bedside, getting a cup of water when the patient can't get up to get that, helping to ring for the nurse, just doing little things, that's caregiving. We are all caregivers. Caregiving is best achieved through kindness and compassion. It's easy sometimes to go through the motions and do the job. It's not always so easy to do it always with kindness and compassion. It's a much better job if it's done with mm -hmm. kindness and compassion. We believe that safe, accessible, high-quality health care is a must, and that's certainly fundamental to patient-centered care. We strongly believe in a holistic approach to meeting people's needs of body, of mind, and of spirit. And at our facility, there are a lot of things going on uh, that speak to this. Um, we have a labyrinth uh, where patients and family can go to unwind, to relax, to let the mind be able to breathe and to think and to ponder and to reflect. Uh, we might have cookies baking as you walk onto the floor and that helps one to be able to relax and maybe not be as stressed with everything that's going on. When you walk into the facility, it's very calming. The colors are very calming. Um, there's a waterfall Water. as you walk in. Um, the pictures that are on the wall, if you notice as you walk around, you won't see faces in any of the pictures in the facility. Um, they're all um, scenes, and, and that's been shown to be more reflective, um, more um, peaceful. Mm -hmm. So there are many, many things that are done to uh, have a more holistic approach to the care of the patient. We believe that families, friends, and loved ones are vital to the healing process. Unlike the experience that Angela went through in the 70s when she was all alone, that was a terrible experience for her. We believe that families, caregivers, loved ones, they're all integral to the patient receiving the best quality of care and to obtaining the best response to their particular illness. We believe that access to understandable, understandable health information can empower individuals to be able to participate in their own health. Um, doctors speak. Mm -hmm. You hear about that. Patients, they're in the bed, the doctors come in, they say things. You might not understand every third word that's being said. The doctor's gone. You don't know what, what just happened. Mm -hmm. And that was the visit for the day. That's not acceptable. That just isn't good enough. You have to get down to the level of understanding so that we're all on the same page, so that everyone understands what's happening, what the care plan is for the day, what the possible outcomes are, a full explana explanation of what's going on so that that patient can participate, can understand what's happening. It's his path, it's his illness or disease, and he must be the captain of his own ship. So access to understandable health information is, is so critically important. And then, once they have the information, the opportunity for the individual to make personal choices related to their care. That is so important. One size does not fit all in health care. One size does not fit all. We all have our own path. Helping our patients to find that path is very much a part of Plain Tree. We believe that the physical environment can enhance healing, health, and well-being. And that, again, speaks to the physical um, uh, hospital, which I've already spoken, spoken of. And then we strongly believe that illness can be, and in fact many times is, a transformational experience, not only for the patient, but also for the family and for the caregivers. Many times patients come into the hospital, and during that stay and afterwards, nothing is the same. It's a transformational event for them. And part of the Plain Tree experience um, is trying to help that patient and family receive the best care possible in the most nurturing experience possible and helping to put that patient on the best path possible for the rest of their life. 
And those are the, those are the beliefs of plain tree. I said some of them are very basic, some are very simple. Some of them get pretty complex, but it all gets back around to the basic tenant of patient-centered care. And I think if we just keep that at the center of everything that we do, um, it strips away a lot of the difficulties and becomes very simple. Mm -hmm. Patient-centered care. Keep everything focused, everything that we do focused, you know, mind, body, spirit, keep it all focused on the patient and the patient's family, provide the best care that we can, be honest, transparent, do the best job that we can do. We are a small community hospital. There are many things that we cannot do, but many things that we can do and do provide exceptionally well. Mm -hmm. And I am very, very proud to be a part of our community. Um, would like to see our Plain Tree affiliate status become designation status at some point in the future. Which is which is uh, which is high the goal. highest. Yeah. That is a, that would certainly be a, um, an in, incredibly um, lofty goal for us to achieve. There are usually only two or three hospitals nationwide per year that achieve designation status. Um, but we uh, continue down that path and and. Uh, we are uh, diligent in our desire to achieve designation status for Plain Tree at some point in the future. And uh, that is what Plain Tree is about at Alliance Community Hospital. Um, well, and having heard that, then I think, I sit here and I think, why would I want to go to any hospital that's not a Plain Tree affiliate? I mean, it just seems like, isn't that what it should be? I well, mean, I would turn that around and say, why would any hospital not, not want to be mm -hmm. a Plain Tree facility? Yeah. So that's that's how I would. Are they so things. business oriented that they have forgotten? You know, that's what it seems like. That well, it, it's a culture. Uh -huh. It's a plain tree is definitely a culture of care, and we here in we have a small community, and we're tasked tasked with caring for our community, and I think that the milieu is is perfect for plain tree. Um, it's it's a lovely thing to be able to care for your own. Mm -hmm. It's a lovely, lovely thing to be able to do that. And I think that at Alliance Community Hospital, Plain Tree just fits in perfectly. And I know at a lot of other, perhaps larger um, centers, maybe that isn't quite as possible. But I think maybe their goal should be, why not try to be, mm -hmm. to become a Plain Tree facility? Why wouldn't anybody want to be one? Okay. Well, speaking of why wouldn't, why, or why would, why did you decide to become a physician? Why? What was in your background? Why did I to be a physician? Yeah. Um, well, I'll tell you, I have always wanted to provide service. I've always had the desire to feel needed. Um, I've always wanted to serve. And I have to be honest, when I was in eighth grade, um, my geography teacher, Mr. Bradley, who has since passed away, said, Morris, that was my maiden name, he called us all by our last names, he said, Morris, you should go into medicine. And that stuck with me. He was my guidance counselor, and he said, you should go into medicine. And I don't even remember the conversation that started that. Hmm. Um, but that stuck with me, and as I went to college, I ended up being a medical technologist, and I worked in the hospital, and uh, I loved it, absolutely loved it. And I worked in the microbiology laboratory, and I would see the medical students and the residents coming down to get results for the patients. And I would always want to know more about what was going on with the patients. And then after doing that for a couple of years, decided to throw my hat in the ring and, and go back to medical school. And it was a great decision. I've, I've not ever regretted that decision. And how long have you been in Alliance? Um, my husband and I moved to Alliance in the early 90s, it was 1992, so we've, we've been um, local for about the last 21 years. Okay. So. All right. Well, was there anything else that you wanted to add about Plain Tree or the hospital? Or I would like to say that our hospital here is becoming the center of the community. If you look at a lot of the um, um, insurance regulations and a lot of the other things that go on, um, the hospital in the f of the future is going to become the center of the community. We're going to need a lot more help in the way of volunteerism, um, in the way of public interest. And I would say keep the hospital in mind. If there, are, if you have a hankering to volunteer, mm -hmm. um, our doors are open. <laughs> uh, there are ample opportunities. Um, it's a great way to give back to the community. 
um, I would say, opportunities to work in the medical field. Um, it's a great place to work. It's a great place to serve. Um, the rewards are wonderful. So I think Alliance is a great place to be. I think Alliance Community Hospital has a tremendous um, uh, amount of opportunities for uh, our community, but also for, for young people growing up and wanting to maybe come back and work in the community. There's a lot to offer, a lot mm -hmm. to be had. And then Plain Tree, patient-centered care, it doesn't get better than that. All right. Well, thank you very much for explaining to everyone what exactly Plain Tree is and how it's um, benefiting our hospital, our community. And thank you for being a part of our program, Dr. Lair. Thank you for having me. My pleasure. And thank you for watching Hospital Rounds. I'm Kyle Schwarz. Mm -hmm.